So congratulations to the Seattle Seahawks in the uh, big game or the Super Bowl or whatever it is we're supposed to call it. They won 43-8. to eight. They out-physicaled the Denver Broncos. I mean, they just kicked their butts. The Denver Broncos, I don't think they really showed up. They scored in the last second of the third quarter for the first time and the only time. Uh, I mean, it was horrible. And then there's that Richard Sherman, you know, he, in the last playoff game, he, he came out and did this interview and made the news, and then he told us all, Thug is the new N-word. Basically, we can't say Thug anymore, or we're going to be called racist. Well, he was talking all this smack, you know, how awesome he was, this and that. And he learned why you shouldn't do such things, because karma kind of turns around and kicks you in the behind. Um... He got hurt. Yeah. He, they had to take him off the field. Um, no. They put him in some kind of cast real quick. Had him on crutches right before the end of the game. He got hurt like... Uh, first part of the fourth... Last part of the third quarter. Maybe first part of the fourth quarter. And then a few minutes left in the game. He's already back because he wants to get out there in the field and do his media, media interviews. Which I'm missing right now because I'm making this video. But... You know, it didn't look like two professional teams showed up, just one. So it makes me wonder, question. I mean, is this like professional wrestling? Did they flip a coin weeks ago and decide who was actually going to win? Because that's what it seemed like. I literally watched plays. Uh, one player for the Denver Broncos, he caught the ball in a wide open field in front of him. He didn't run straight. Instead of running straight, he ran at a 45 degree angle straight over to one of their guys. I saw many, many plays where it just looked like bad acting. It looked like it was fake.